All right, folks, here we are. I'm going to show you how to install a brand new Hook 5 Lorenz fish finder on to a 2018 Sun Tracker fishing barge 20 foot boat. Now, this boat is two weeks old. It already has one fish finder on it. I immediately installed my Minn Kota electric trolling motor on there. And I installed a puck along with a Vexler FL28, which is located at the very front of the boat. So I'll show you that as we go along. But I'm going to try to make this as quick and easy and painless as possible because anybody can do this. Um, I wouldn't anticipate any problems at all. I've looked it all over. I've measured everything up. The only question that I have is I'm about a foot and a half short with their standard 20 foot cable from where the transducer is located at the back of the boat and where the mounted uh, screen display is going to be located at the helm. Kind of leaves you with you have to cross over about seven and a half feet which gobbles up a lot of your cable and the cable standard length is about 20 feet. Um, there are two different runs that I've kind of looked at. I've pre-measured each one. Um, the one that I'm looking at right now I'm at 17 feet to the floor underneath the helm which would leave me about three and a half feet or three feet to get up to where the display unit is going to be located which is not I'm thinking enough and I'll show you how that works out for me so I'm just gonna pause it here and we'll okay I've done some recording or some uh, measuring and what I've come up with is I'm just 17 feet two inches to the bottom of the plate that we're going to be mounting the transducer to. And uh, that still leaves um, two feet, eight inches underneath the council that needs to be able to reach to the, uh, to the reader, to the display unit. So my problem is, is that my transducer cable here, which is laying on the ground, is about three inches too short it's supposed to be 20 feet and this one happens to be 19 feet two inches and i had a second transducer cable because i bought two um units and the second one was 19 feet three inches so an inch difference so i'm gonna have to run it once dry see how it goes i ran it several different ways underneath the boat um and you can see here this way was one. There was another one that went up underneath here that followed that track. And I think that's the one I'm going to use because it actually angles across this way. If you look, you'll see those black conduits going over and then up underneath the pontoon. And it's actually a little bit of an angle, which saves me about two inches. So I need those two inches. And I still might not be able to make it. However, I'm fortunate that even though I live in a small town in northwestern Minnesota, in this small town happens to be a very, very good um, electric bait or fishing electronics store that actually carries the extension for this Hook 5. So I'll have to buy a 15 foot extension for I think it's $39 or $34. So um, I will be able to make it work. So we will be moving forward with our video. So I'll keep moving. Thank you. All right, I kind of have my path planned. I'm about four inches in dis despair here. I may have to buy a 15 foot extension cable for $35 to cover an additional four inches, but we're gonna try it. Now this second transducer is for a another depth finder that I'm gonna mount in the back of the boat. I will show that to you as we go along, but that's gonna be mounted probably on this side and it's going to run inside of this black conduit here up go across there and go in um, underneath into the battery compartment and then mount on top of the battery storage compartment in the back of the boat for the aft fishing chair so you will see that 
as I go along. Um, and I will show that to you. This is a old Eagle transducer that I had from a previous fishing pontoon boat that I owned, which is over there. I'll show that to you maybe, but um, so this is the new one here that we're going to be working with. Uh, here's the bracket. I am following these instructions right here that came with it, and I'm setting it up. If you'll look, you'll see I have the uh, the ratcheting washers inside of the uh, sleeve and then I'm going to be mounting this along with the rubber. I'm going to go through here. I should probably get the camera. First thing we're going to do is we're going to mount the transducer brackets. So if you look you'll see the pump to the live well behind the plate that we're going to mount the transducer brackets to. What's really important here is that your bolts your screws that you're going to be mounting these with do not exceed the uh, and go into the uh, pump. So if I look, I am safe right here. It's just enough. So it's not going to go in. It's not going to go in down here. It's, in fact, they're not even going to be down there. I pre-marked two holes for the first transducer. You'll see one there, one there. We're just going to start by pre-drilling those holes. We're going to use the screws that came with the, the kit to put it in. All right? Sounds good. Okay, so here we are. We're going to drill our first hole in the boat. We're going to start right here with just a little pre-drill hole so that we can uh, get the transducer bracket in. Just going to slowly go through. We don't want to push too hard so that we don't hit the... Uh, the, uh, what do you call that, behind it. And then I'm gonna put actually something behind there so I don't hit that. So I'm gonna just take this crescent wrench back. I'm gonna slide that in there so that if I do go through, I don't hit the, the uh, pump for the. And you saw it get hit. So there's that. I'm going to be uh, screwing these two in right now. And of course, they're going to need to be readjusted a couple of times. But if you look, I kind of have them at the bottom set up so that they just skim the surface as the pontoon goes across the top of the water. I can go up this high where it's just out of the water. And I can go all the way down here where it's just plunged into the water. So it's going to take a couple of attempts while we water test the boat to make sure that we have these set up correctly. This is something that can be done while the boat is in the water. You can take a screwdriver, loosen them up, raise and lower them until you get them correctly. But you have to have the boat out of the water in order to mount the transducers. So that's just an FYI. I don't know anybody that says that you can do this without having it out of the water. I think they're crazy, but if you can do it, more power to you. You're a better boat mechanic than I am. Okay, so I have these on. There's two of them. They're different frequencies. This one runs at 200 millihertz, and this one runs at 80 to 200, and then way beyond that. And the 80 to 200 runs up and it runs down, depending on what it's looking for. That's a variable range, and if it interferes with this one, you'll shut this one off until you're done with this one because this is pretty primarily for driving the boat finding the fish shutting the boat down and then this one's for fishing now if you look i tried to line them up just a little bit below the line of the pontoon both of them are there and then i have enough that i can go up with this or down with this to get it arranged or even with the water so that it bubbles and don't go underneath it so it should work out. You can adjust these up and down. You can adjust the pitch of these up and down, um, depending on what you want, what you're looking for, um, and how they read as you're using the boat. Um, so now, right now I'm gonna tuck this line into here all the way up, and then so I can run that over to the uh, station above the battery storage compartment for the person in the aft fishing seat. I'll show you how that turned out when it's done. Okay, so now we're going to drill out 
the uh, compartment so that the uh, unit can fit in and be built in flush with the dash. They molded the dash so that it fits this Hook 5 perfectly. Um, they included this little template here. So I cut the template out exactly the size of the Hook 5 and then I poked little holes out in the paper and I'm going to use a Sharpie to mark where the uh, the holes are and then pre-drill them with the drill bit that they tell me to use. I think they gave me the sizes of the drill bit in there. So I'm going to do that part right now and then I'm going to dry fit the unit into the spot and I'll give you a little view of what that looks like. Okay, I've got the holes pre-drilled. I still am gonna have to drill holes here and here so that the uh, cables can plug into the unit. But right now we're just going to dry fit you look in the installation kit that I bought separately um, it includes these um, long bolts that just screw right into the back of the hook 5 unit and then they included with them um, some spacers some washers and uh, wing nuts so we'll just put that in we'll see how that fits that I wasn't trying to be funny but it was funny there so that's what she'll look like when she's in. Looks rather nice. It's a nice clean flush fit up underneath the windshield so it doesn't get a lot of weather, a lot of sun, easy to read. So we're gonna work from there. So I'll just keep moving along. All right, I chose to use a one inch paddle bit only because I don't have a drill bit that's one inch. And it is the same size as what we're gonna be plugging into the back. And so we're going to be drilling a one inch paddle hole on the right side. On the left side I'm going to go much smaller because I'll just be able to feed this power cable through a smaller hole on this side and why drill bigger holes in your boat than you have to. So if you look right down there that's where I'm going to be drilling the one inch paddle hole. I'll show you how that looks when I'm done. Alright so now here we are back underneath the uh, helm and if you look I have the power cable coming out I made a smaller hole there for the power cable to come out there's the larger hole right here that this has to go through to plug in and if you look it's really close I mean I've just got it right down I have about an inch to spare and I did not have to buy the extension, so I'm pretty happy about that. And so I'm going to just, uh, I fished it up from underneath the bowl with this piece of hard copper grounding wire. And uh, came up, if you look underneath the boat, I think I showed you, there's just a little um, kind of a basket that has all of the wires coming up through from behind this piece of carpet, carpeted board right here. And I just brought it up through, and there I am right there. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to hook up that blue wire, and then I'm going to mount the unit to that, and then I'm going to work on powering it up. So we'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, here we are. We're at the final stages of mounting the, uh, the unit into the pre-cutout hole that's inside of the... Uh, fishing barge 20 foot boat which I think uh, Sun Tracker pretty much puts this in most of their boats especially this for 2018 so I'm gonna have Sam hold the camera and I'm going to see how this works out we'll start with the uh, power because I have the most leeway here with that I can just take that out figure out how that fits in there and then they tell me to make sure that I have these good and tight. And since this will probably be the last time someone accesses this for many years, that one is in good and tight. Then I'm going to work on this blue one. I don't know if you can see it over there, but this one's a very tight fit. So I'm gonna just uh, do this without being on camera because I'm probably gonna cuss and swear a couple of times. So thank you very much. All right, so there it is, it's in. Um, now I just have to put the, uh, the, I don't know what these do, but I think they're spacers. It allows you to, gives you some room so that you can put these on and tighten them up. 
along with these little lock washers. Oh. So I'm going to get that part done and then I'm going to hook up the power to the battery. There's a battery underneath there and I'm just going to clip it to that battery with the fuse um, so that it's not running off the main engine battery. I know it's only drawing about an amp, an amp and a quarter, but you leave that on for a little while or forget to shut it off and then the next day you have a dead battery. So I'm just going to hook it up to the uh, trolling motor battery. So we'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay, so we have the uh, depth finder unit installed. I have it running to the uh, a power source, the uh, battery that's underneath the helm here. If you look, you'll just see it run. I put two clips on there, ran it right positive, negative on that battery, and then it just runs up and underneath and into the back of the of the unit. And then uh, I got a little excited and I powered it on just because I wanted to see how everything looked. So I didn't get a recording of that, but here is to show you what it looks like. So here it is powering on. One of the complaints that everybody has about the unit is, is that it takes forever to power on. Um, you know what? Who cares? It's a great unit. I'm excited to use it. That along with the other two on my boat, we should be able to find fish. I haven't put the map chip in yet, but that's all stuff that you can play with and learn how to do. Um, as of now, I'm just going to go underneath the boat, button it up, put some more conduit, that plastic conduit on some of the wires so that it protects them from any rubbing that's going to occur. I was able to do this without having to buy the extension cable. Um, it took three attempts with the uh, cable run, but I did it with one inch to spare. So it can be done. Um, again, this is the 2018 fishing barge, um, 20 foot boat. Um, I love the boat. It's got some extra storage up underneath those parts. It's got a live well there. It has a changing station here. So if somebody needs to change and put their swimsuit on, actually a porta potty fits underneath that. But this isn't a review of the boat. This is just a review of installing the depth finder and uh, getting that done. And I'm just going to shut this down. And I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, and I'm going to do another video completely on the boat alone as a separate video. But uh, have a good day.